What is up guys? Welcome to the studio. It's so good to have you. I uh, can't believe we're finishing up 2020. What a crazy year it's been. Uh, but we are unloading two full glaze kilns. There was uh, two days this week that I glazed, I think over 120 pots, which is probably the most that I've ever done. And everything you see that comes out is gonna be for sale on December 14th, our last restock of the year. This is basically the last pottery of 2020. And then we're, we're starting over, we're gonna redo this kiln room a little bit. We're gonna work on some new exciting projects that I can't wait to share with you guys. We have been cranking out the pots. 2020 started with, we went over 100,000 subscribers, which was kind of like my goal for the year. And then we focused just on making a ton, a ton of pots. So it's exciting. Thank you guys for being here. If you wanna get any of these pots, check out the Etsy shop. I hope you guys all are finishing out the year strong. All right, let's check it out. We got some really, really cool stuff in here. All right. Super cool! First pots out. This is a Canyon Skies carved mug. Super, super cool. So that's another one, Canyon Skies. So that's a Canyon Skies, that's three different glazes. This kiln was fired to cone seven. So both of these kilns were cone seven. No slow cool or anything. This is a Norse blue combo. Wow, that's really neat. With a little twist in there, twist action. And then I have a bunch of these tumblers. And so this, I had these in the last restock and then someone that I know um, bought them but then wanted more. I don't do that very often just because it gets too complicated to get a bunch of custom orders. Another Canyon Skies Spiral. Okay, so this glaze, I was excited about this one. So this is three glazes on top, Winterwood, Raspberry Mist, and Lavender Mist. And then it's a different glaze on the bottom, Norse Blue. So it kind of meshes together. What do you think of that? That's really cool. Turned out pretty much how it was in my head. All right, we have some. Okay, so I've been starting to do this carving thing, which I'm really excited about. So there will be quite a few of these in here, but you can see I left some so you can see just what the clay looks like because I think it looks pretty cool. So this is Norse blue and I always pick glazes to go on here that that show different colors when they break. Like sometimes if you dip some glazes, it would cover everything, but this one breaks so you can see where those marks are, which is pretty cool. And then this was a big, well, I mean, it wasn't huge, but it's it's a carved vase with satin patina on it, which that turned out really nice. Whoa, sweet. Another one of those, just kind of a Norse blue carved vase. This actually was the cylinder I threw blindfolded and it was kind of thick. So I was like, let's just carve it out. Love how that just falls off with a lighter color and then down into that really rich, deep brown. Cool. Another one of those. It's kind of cool. I actually like how on this one, it actually broke the white on top. Like it didn't really happen, but you can see more of the winter wood there. These are really unique. These we're gonna have in the restock for the first time ever. My wife spends a ton of time carving these kind of cut out lumineers. Yeah, super cool. We're gonna definitely do some videos on that in 2021. Can't believe it's gonna be 2021 so soon. Here's winter wood and satin patina spiral mugs. Love those, that's one of my new favorite glazes. There's four of those. This was a, a refired one. That looks pretty nice. Really cool, love it. We got quite a few of these. I did a bunch of these marble ones, which I haven't done for a few restocks. Marbled with Canyon Skies drip, which it only dripped a couple times, but I think that looks pretty nice. I didn't want it to drip too much because I wanted to be able to see the marbling, but nice. Love the bottoms of those. Those are so cool. All right. And then this was another one that was popular in the last restock. Norse blue, sandstone, and Aurora green. Love it. Love it. Next row. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is so cool. It just dripped a tiny little bit. This, oh my gosh, that is so cool. So cool. That Albany Brown on the carving. So uh, I started doing this carving, right? Like this one and this one. And what I wanted to do in this kiln was I really wanted to see which glazes looked the best or which ones I want I wanted to do more on these carving ones because I have a bunch of these carved I have a bunch of carved ones 
over here, like that, and up here, that I really want to figure out which blazes are gonna look the best. So that's very exciting. This is another new one that dripped a little bit, but turned out really sweet. So this is Muddy Waters on top and Satin Patina over top of that, which it dripped a little bit, but so sparkly. I love how sparkly it is. It's really like this Satin Patina over Muddy Waters turns out really like glittery. And then another one. Wow. Wow. I love it so much. Guys, guys, it's really exciting. I was super excited about these carved ones, but you never really know you never really know until you glaze them and then you get them out. Wow, fun! So fun, I'm so happy. So happy. Canyon Skies, that turned out really nice. Um, And then, these are always really popular. These Midnight Rain over Winterwood, like I try and get them to be pretty metallic -y. Okay, so there's like a bunch of those in there, so I'm just gonna unload them all. The only other thing that's different, so when you don't, when I don't load the crystals on on that glaze, then it turns out like more like just a straight blue, which I also like. And I love that that turned out and it dripped right down to the bottom, but not off. That's, that's the ticket. That's when you know you got your glazes in the right form. Nice, beautiful. There's been some really fun kilns throughout this year, but I mean, I always probably think this when I'm doing it. Like, I just need to remind everybody how fun this part is of the pottery process. Like, it takes weeks and weeks and like to get enough work to fill all this. Oh, it's just so fun to see the, this is like why pottery is so fun and so amazing is this right here. There's a reason why I like film the kiln unloadings and like why I wanna share like my joy in pottery with you guys is for these moments right here. Like, so fun. These, I did like some marbled and then carved it out. And then I put the copper ore drip over there. Really cool. Yeah, fun, fun, fun stuff. And then, ho, ho, ho. Okay, so this is the copper ore, which it dripped down, which is super cool when it hangs up there and then it got a little too drippy right there. I hope, I hope that didn't happen on every one. Nice, there you go. Those are, those just have such a cool feel and texture and really cool. This was Albany Brown and Copper Ore. I gotta figure out some other stuff to where to put all these pots. Okay, and then there's a bunch of these in there. So these are this Copper Drip. This is one of my fave, all time faves. It's Copper Ore Drip over the marbled. Really cool, turned out really good. Love that the drips came down. I love that they come like maybe more than halfway. So I think I only had like one, I only have like one bad drip in this whole kiln. So there's still a few more in here. Yep, that's cool. Really cool. Love those. Oh, oh, ah, oh, what a good kiln. That was really exciting. That was super fun. Oh, I love these new carved ones, how they came out. I love the, these are some unique stuff for me. So this one, yes, yes, yes. We're gonna flip around the cameras and do the next kiln. So in that last kiln that we just did, there were 65 pots. And so I've been keeping track, obviously. So 65 plus whatever's in here, that's what we're gonna get out today. Um, I just wanted to talk quick about this. This thing, I've had a few people that comment and ask like, what is that thing on your wall right there? So this was a little competition thing that I did last year, the March Mug Madness Bracket, which I'm super excited to do again this year. So what we did was we matched up. I picked up, picked out 64 of my best mugs from the year before. And then on Instagram, on my stories, people voted. So each like game, if you ever watch the March Madness tournament that happens every year, the basketball tournament, it's like one of my favorite things in the world. So I basically did that. So I seeded them like one through 64. And so the one seeds were what I thought was the best and the 16 seeds were the worst. And so then they would get matched up against each other and then you guys would vote on them for the games and then each round would advance. And the winner of the entire thing was the March, the Northern Lights Classic, which I've been making a lot of Northern Lights this year, basically because it won the tournament. And so I'm excited this year to match up like, cause I have a ton of new glazes, new stuff this year that will be fun to see if anything can 
beat the Northern Lights. Like I'll definitely do some Northern Lights this year. So anyway, it's gonna be fun. I'm excited. And then we'll have a new winner. So it'll be fun. All right, let's do this kiln as to not make this video like a 20,000 minute video. Okay, so first things in here are a bunch of these, what are these new mug warmers. So if you haven't seen that, and this one's a little different because I, I put these on. Um, so I'm kind of doing them a little differently now, but those turned out really good. I should really have my coffee on one of these right now, but there's no time. We sell these Minnesota ornaments at the coffee shop at Moke Monkey. So these have little snowflakes on them. A bunch of them have the glass on them. I don't count these ornaments in my pot count because that they're just too easy. They're just too easy to make. So I, you know, I just had a bunch of them. So I don't count those. I count the, the mug warmers and I count like a shot cup or a shot glass or anything. Okay, so here's a new testing, a new tester. This is Desert Dusk over Lavender Mist, which it turned out really nice. This has a few more crystals loaded on there. This does not. Here's a desert, this is just straight Desert Dusk. All right, so then we got a bunch more. Ooh, these are cool. So these are those mug warmers, but this is just straight satin patina. One of my new fave glazes. Y'all, those, those are nice. Um, this was a new tester. So this is Norse Blue over Muddy Waters. Like it. I like it a lot. That's really nice. I don't have that many bowls up for sale on Etsy usually, but I'll have some this time. Wow, cool. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, winter wood mug warmers. Last time I had these giant mugs, these are like probably 30 or 35 ounces. Love those. Those sold really well on Etsy, which is surprising because I don't know who's using giant mugs. Like how do you drink coffee fast enough to keep it hot in here? But people like giant mugs. I don't know if it's because people feel like they're getting like really good value if your mug can hold more, but. There's some Minnesota mugs with snowflakes on there. That's cool. I think it's sandstone, Aurora green and Norse blue. Very cool. Yeah, nice. Nice, nice. And then we got another one of these guys. Those are so cool. My wife, so talented. Waconia, Minnesota, that's where I'm from. That's where the coffee shop is. All right, and then the last shelf. The last shelf of mugs for 2020. There was a Minnesota that I carved because I'm getting so into the carving, Midnight Rain. Here's one of my, my wife's carved ones. So I put black slip over top and then she goes back and carves into it. Those always do pretty well on the restocks. Oh, what do we got here? Here's, ooh, nice. There's another one of those new carved ones. A couple just straight winter wood mugs with Minnesotas on them and snowflakes. This one, if you can see, I don't know how well you can see that. You can ha you can see the snowflakes in there under the winter wood. Looks really nice. Love that. Drippy midnight rain over a marbled clay. Again, there's that canyon skies. Drippy marbled love those look at the bottoms of those aren't those so cool we got i did a bunch of this green opal with aurora green on top those minnesotas some of these may not be on the restocks i may bring some of these to the coffee shop so don't fall in love with the minnesota mug another lavender mist carved one i'm just picking out the unique ones i think this glaze again there's a few of these in the other kiln and they turned out pretty similar a couple people had asked me i read all your guys's comments on everything and a couple people had said they wanted more of this mug, so I decided to make a bunch of these. All right, I think that's it for unique pots in here. All the rest are just ones that you've already seen. All right, guys, that's it for these kilns. Holy smokers. I don't know how many exactly were in that kiln yet, but we're gonna count them. We're gonna take pictures of everything. Um, and then we might get one more load of pots in, but this is gonna be the last pots that I show you guys of 2020 for sure. So, Make sure to check out the restock. We will get things out as fast as possible so you can hopefully have any pots that you would like for Christmas. Otherwise, oh, I'm getting excited. I love the changeover of the year because it's like, all right, we're gonna focus on, we made, so, we made more pots than I've ever made this year. 
and I'm excited to think about focusing on not just production of pots next year, but maybe really getting creative with making some more videos. So I would love if you guys comment below and let me know any videos that you guys want to see. I've made, you know, two, probably almost 300 videos up to this point. And so what videos do people need? Because I've made a lot of videos just showing you guys what I do, but what do you guys need? What's going to make me valuable in the world? If you haven't already, subscribe, like, share all the things, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Say, what's up, guys? What's up, guys?